Hey, I want to do a introduction to my personal website. I think everybody should have a personal website like my website where you have everything about you at minimal clicks. So all up at the surface. And your front page should have a picture of you because your body is what you are and a picture is worth a thousand words so you could have your body like this or you're like your whole body standing there this is what this is how websites in the future are going to be like just giving people the heads up so yeah so you would explain stuff about you like all this thing I'll have it when I click on this, it'll take you down, but yeah, your story, and physically, your life's mission, your your inventions, if, you, if that's what you do, psychological profile of yourself, what you are in past lives, your strengths and weaknesses, all of the books you've led, read, and lessons you've learned in life. So my life story is yada yada, and there's me physically. I'm not that heavy. Well, actually, I am that heavy right now. <laughs> it's just all fat. 24, 25% body fat. Oh no, I never put my my numbers. Uh, I'm. I have uh, personally. I'm of the philosophy that <laughs> quantity is better than quality because you can always fill up the quantity with quality later. But you know, I want to. If I build a structure, then I can fill in the structure with the goodies after. But the most important thing is to fill up a structure. That's different from what you're taught in school. In school, they ask you to like write one term paper in the entire year that's like two pages long. But if they find one of your I's isn't dotted, or one of your T's isn't crossed, then you fail the whole class. So. Um, my idea is different. It's uh, ask the dude to make a hundred write an write an entire book for the class. You know, as long as you can read it, and then they can spend the rest of their life perfecting it. So, anyways, there's mommy and daddy. <laughs> I think before I was born, there's family. There's me, my brother, and my brother. I have two brothers. There's my house in Austin. It's a baby on Rock Creek, like two blocks from the river. Then we moved up to Westlake Hills. There's our pool. I remember that pool. I used to swim laps on it when I was like four. Could swim all the way across. There's my brother. There's me. There's the him is the same guy. These guys would freak if they knew that I was doing this because they would need to stay anonymous, but... Um, Whatever, if they ask me to take it down, I will. There's my other brother. That little guy is that little guy, and that little guy is me. And that little guy, and that little guy. So I guess kids' hair gets lighter, darker as they get older. There's our cabin. We had three cabins on 37 acres there for a few years. And there's Long's Peak right there, 14,000 foot mountain. There's me and my brother. There's me and my mother. Oh, there's our house. We had a basketball court in our house in Boulder in a garden. Oh, I remember that garden. That was a sweet garden. There's Ada Roshi from Thailand. He came out and stayed with us every, every summer. There's my brother and my mother. There's our cat. He lived like 20 years. Oh, shit. I should go a little bit quicker, shouldn't I? There's our house where I grew up in. My other house. We had two houses in Boulder. I think that's me. There's my grandmother. There's our dog. He lived like 13 years, got hit by a car. There's our trailer in Breckenridge that we had for a few years. There's our cat. Oh, wait, we have two pictures of the cat? Oh, no. Okay, so my mission in life are the aliens. Show how everything is integrated and related. Getting people to share their skills, get people to confront each other, or redesign the educational system. Yeah, confront each other. Confront each other's beliefs. I don't mean like yell at each other or whatever. Okay, anyways, um, website mission state. So I'm going to write all that stuff when I get around to it, but I ain't gotten around to it yet. <laughs> um, 
and all this shenity that I write, old world paradigm, you got to is what you say what other people believe, you know, because they tell you what to believe and you do it to advance life. But now you say what you want because everybody has enough money. If you live in your van, you don't have to bow down to have enough food to eat. So, anyway, the best design to have a personal website is the 300 pixel on this side and 300 pixel on this side design with a 600 pixel in the middle because the 600 pixel in the middle. Well, actually, let's say if this is a thousand, yeah, so I guess that means. So I guess that would lead you with 300 to 300, like 400 in the middle, whatever. In the middle, it's about it's about the same as you would see in a book. So, and then these are big enough to watch. These are almost as big as YouTube videos are, are you know, normally. So they fit perfectly on the side like that. And so you just have video, 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 and picture, picture, picture all down the sides. And then you can have your words. So you never run out of space for either of them. In fact, in this case, I need to put in more pictures. See what I'm saying? That's the exact, that's the exact, it's the perfect balance. The 300 pixel by three, <laughs> side, dude. Anyways, that's me. I kind of took a little bit too much time on that one. Okay, anyways, here's one of my inventions. And I already did a video about this, which I haven't embedded here yet because I haven't gotten around to it yet. It's like a six part video, it's like six hours long. But it, this is really cool because you could just hit print, and then you just hit print one, once, and then it just prints all this up, and then you can paste it together, and you can have all of your powers of Tim going along the, the uh, hallway of your school, and every single school needs to have my power of Tim page on it. And maybe uh, later on, you know, when I get permission from the people in the pictures here, I'll, uh, I'll sell this, you know, for people who are too lazy to put it up on the wall or they don't think it'll look pretty enough to get like a laminated version or whatever but a cool thing about this is we live at zero like that's me and um, we're about halfway between the this biggest of the universe and the smallest uh, um, uh, electron in size we're about halfway in the middle you know like the smallest electron is negative 18 you know and positive 18 so you know I guess we're a little bit closer to the smallest electron than the biggest universe of the universe but we're kind of halfway, but one cool thing you can do is you can be like, well, you know, like, what's what's 10 times power of 10 bigger than us? Well, the sun. Well, what's power of 10 smaller than us? The atom. So we are to an atom what the sun is to us, or the atom is to us what we are to the sun. So we can, like, compare about that kind of stuff. Isn't that cool? So, like, Mount Rainier, right here, is to us what a red blood cell or we are to Mount Rainier what a red blood cell is to us. So you can think about that next time you're you're hiking up Mount Rainier. And you can look at through the binoculars of somebody hiking up Mount Rainier and you can picture that person as the red blood cell in a person. You see what I'm saying? You know, so like 15, the boomerang nebula would be, we are to the boomerang nebula, what the weak force range is to us. Or something more close to home, we are to, you know, the Titanic, what, um, what a brain cell is to us. Isn't that groovy? Anyways, let's back out of this because I already did a video about that. I just wanted to do a really quick, a really quick introduction to it. So, back to the home page. <laughs> Another in, um, thing, you have to have people's ideas, dude. People have to share their ideas about schnitz. And you can see I have 300 by 300 pixel along the sides of everything so if you don't if you don't like reading well you can do reader by just your computer program have, probably has a thing where you just do that and then you push read to me or you do natural reader and you turn it into an mp3 file if you want to read my, my, my written word but if you want to just speak hear my spoken word or you know the person's spoken word because everybody's gonna have to have a website like mine one day then you just click on click go clickety click and then you get to watch that so these are all like my philosophies and such going down yonder down the way and I'll, of course I'll organize it later but so here's like you I think we should all have the common philosophical ideas and then of course your personal pet philosophical ideas so it's like are there's aliens well are there's aliens um, anyways I actually have a whole alien pages dude I have a whole 
like collection of aliens pages dude like with all the alien pictures here and the videos that I have embedded from YouTube all oh, right that's me talking about aliens but other embedded videos so you can use that 300 pixel by 300 pixel idea on the side of it as um, as a like a photo gallery you know it makes a better photo gallery than something you see on on Facebook even you know well I guess you can comment on photos of Facebook but <laughs> you really mix photos with uh, video or with words and stuff your own words and video and stuff I think 300 pixel by 300 pixel on the sides is best and I have that kind of stuff about everything dude but I already I already did a demonstration of that video of all the aliens and it took me too long to get in with this because each one of those like 20 different pages I have is gigantic as so let's back out of that before I get myself dragged into that because that will take forever dude that's like way huge but anyways um, yeah what is good and evil is there a god yada 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 each one of those has like me um, writing about it and then me talking about it um, you know with all the like videos about that and like whatever I wrote a lot of the stuff I wrote like 20 years ago or whatever and I never actually got around to like reading it again but I think quantity is better than quality as far as I'm concerned we all need to have politics as well um, oh my first inmate page is really good this is going to be the uh, the uh, structure that I want to have on all of my my um, issues I um, oh and I didn't I didn't embed my video that I made about first amendment because I made a really long like six hour long video about it but these are all the different um, the different uh, decisions of the First Amendment that have ever happened. And then it says whether I agree with it or whether I disagree with it. And then I talk about it actually in my video. But then I have like the, the writing, what I think about it in the middle, and then all this, these statistics about that. But, uh, but yeah, the idea is that you have, you have one about every single um, subject, you know, like abortion. So that basically uh, you, well, I guess I don't really have written, <laughs> written what I think about abortion, but I have my videos up here about abortion. So, but I will do what I write about it later. But um, I would like to. I think one cool thing in the future is uh, is that you um, is that you uh, you uh, everybody on all the polit political um, issues and philosophical issues. <laughs> You click, you go into a website, and you just click what it is, and then you attach your name to it. Maybe, like maybe it should be a a, a a thing attached to Facebook, and um, but also on your personal website where you make it clear what your stance is, so that you uh, you uh, go in there and you uh, you go click on somebody's profile, and then you get to see what their stance is on everything, and. Uh, just by seeing like kind of like a multiple choice test you just say okay abortion pro or against this pro or against you know and then you can click on it to hear them do the video of them talking about it and then what they write about it but it should start by at least knowing what their what their ideas are so yeah I definitely have some work to do on this but uh, that should definitely be a feature on Facebook well it will be and it's an absolute crime that uh, our politicians don't have that on their political pages you know, you have to find out what they believe basically by knowing what kind of party they belong to and then knowing what the party believes. And, or, or maybe you'll be lucky enough to hear them talk about it or if they, the guy asked them in the debate, but you can't just go to their website and find out what they believe about stuff. You can't even go on their website and find out what they freaking voted about stuff. You have to dig around. It's ridiculous. Uh, okay. This is another original thing that I did. It's just statistics about st <sighs> about stuff, and I made videos about it. But um, I didn't um, I didn't uh, write anything of what I thought. But I did make videos, so I'll really write about what I thought about those later. You know, when I have the time. But those are my videos, and these are all of the uh, all the statistics that I just collected from like Roper polls and Harris polls and. Uh, that kind of stuff but um, these are all the different ones so it's a cool thing to like you can hit print and it'll print it all up 
It's a cool thing to like scroll through here and just look at all of them. We're, I have it all like jam packed together. That's my philosophy is to just jam pack, jam pack stuff together, dude. So anyways, I have all of this stuff. Jam pack and information together, man. Like on a grid system, don't make it. And I will attach like a Google AdSense to my pages because maybe I could even make a little bit of money if somebody look at my web page. Haven't gotten around to that before though. Here's my gym page. I've already done a video about it, but I'll just do a really quick thing. You know, you have your just to show you how like a good personal website is designed. You would have your mission statement on the video format right there, you know, and then your another mission statement right there on the top. And then all of your good uh, your goody goodies links spread around the side with link after link after link after link to click on. And then with the writing in the middle. Uh, this is a new thing that I did. But I just did a video about that, talking about analyzing strengths. So I don't have to go into that. But um, um, yeah, I think people definitely should. Here, I'm going to go on this again. People definitely should, in their personal websites, list their numbers. You know? Well, I don't have all my numbers here. Push press? Well, that's push press when I'm not throwing my body. The people, they throw their body, so I'm going to have to try that again. Do it the way that the CrossFit people do it, just so that it's realistic. And, of course, do all my CrossFit numbers here whenever I get around to it. And uh, and then your body stats. Oh, whoops, i got to fix that. I'm not 163 pounds. And, uh, and then, But I do have my videos and stuff, so definitely straight up... Um, straight up uh, share your, your your data so that other people know about your physical data as well there's my body space page I don't use that anymore though because now here I'll show you my time my calendar if anybody ever wants to know what what I'm up to or and this is the cool, coolest way I think to do it better than blogs I think you just find out what day it is it's like what day are we is it like the 18th or something 14th so that's what I did on the 14th so then if you want to find the next day you just could click on there and I think a lot of blogs do have the thing that looks like this and they have the thing like a certain color if they if they wrote something but my thing is that I write something every single day besides you you can just you can just mouse over it and it's the quickest way to find your your blog entry I don't I'm not much of a blogger as you can tell I just, I just put like simple simple entries because most of my sharing that I do is just on video, I'm making videos and stuff, and, and well, creating my creations, but take which takes a long time. But um, but you know, you can fit, you can make these as big as you want, and if it goes out of the, the page, you just you just keep your mouse inside the box, and then you can read down as far as you want. So, plus the cool thing with this is, you know, I can see what I did ten years ago on this very day. Boom. I went to the bus to Arequipa on that very day, 10 years ago. Jesus, God, time fucking flies. Oh my God, I shouldn't have clicked that. God. See, when you see your whole life, see, this is an entire year right here, an entire year on one page. It makes it seem like time flies. I mean, look, we're like halfway through the goddamn year. It's like, what the fuck? You know? It's like, it's like next year, it's going to be like zoom by too. It's like, what the fuck? So it's fucked up. But you can go like one year back. Well, yeah, you can instantaneously jump back one year back. Jump to one year, whatever year instantaneously that you want. But you can also do the same thing 10 years ago. Well, yeah, and then jump to whatever year on that instantaneously. Or you could go to the 90s or choose the 70s or whatever decade you want. And then you've got your day. And, you know, for me... I've got, um, I've got, uh, I've got, hey, how come, this is 2011, and I don't have anything here. What in the fuck? Uh-oh. I must have it linked to something else. Oh, uh-oh, i got to fix that. Whatever, I have different colors showing me of do, during the different things that I do and stuff. 
Shit, I thought I fixed that. God damn it. Uh, anyways. So, uh, but you can like download the HTML of that if you like the idea of that. I have it right, right there in the CSS script, so. Okay, here's my aliens pages, but I already talked about that. Oh, I even have life journal. I think people should have life journal on their pages too. So I have to divide it up just based on different countries I went to, writing about it. Um, some I, some of them I wrote more than others. Like Chile, I was in for five years, so my Chile page is like really big. But it's got the pages, it's got the uh, the pictures all along the side, and it all scrolls down like that. Show. Oh, and then you have Dream Journal. I even have a Dream Journal. Um, where is it? It's not on here, though. That's weird. Huh. Okay. Whatever, whatever. Anyways. Um, and then, while well, I was an English teacher, so any kind of website you do professionally, I think I think people should attach their personal websites to their professional websites and their professional websites to your personal websites um, instead of just being like you know trying to hide yourself it's kinda lame so uh, this changed a little bit since I made it I don't know what happens but sometimes like stuff just changes man I don't know but anyways I made a lot of good 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 materials actually for learning English if anybody wants to study English I have all the lessons and like uh, vocabulary lists that people can uh, can use to study English and Spanish, and you can use these to to like cover this up with pa with paper, like call it cover that side up, and then you guess, and then you just mark it if you get it. That's how I study the vocabulary, and that's how I know my English really well. But anyways, that's a really big page right there. Um, Audio Encyclopedia. I already did a video on this, but I'll do it really quickly. Uh, this is all the different, uh, all the different like subjects that I wanted to uh, make an audio encyclopedia for. I have an M MP3 file where you can just right-click and download it. So then you can put it onto your uh, your website. I mean, not your website on your MP3 player and listen to it while you're at the gym working out or, or waiting in line or something like that. Oops. Mm -hmm. Um, so, dun, 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 dun. all right, um, let's go back, links, these are links to uh, other websites. And the link ain't working. Well, good thing that I found that out. Sometimes links go bad on your website if you don't click on them for a long time. Like goblins get in there and fuck shit up. So you have to get in there and fix it again. Um, I have all the Bibles in the world, though. Um, like the Mahabharata. I have the entire Mahabharata on my website. And I have it so that you can, like, you can click print and print it up and read it. Or you could read it on the internet. If it's hard for you to read it on the internet like this, just minimize the window and make it so that it's like narrow enough. But I might um, incorporate pictures of the Mahabharata in the side so that it's naturally narrow and minimized. But you can download the audio of this. This is like this particular book is three hours because each one of these is a whole hour of um, an the computer voice and reading it to you. Anne isn't so good. Kate is better, but Anne, it snapped it back to Anne. Those fools at Natural Reader, they make it so that it's always snapping back to the bad voices. You have to like manually click it back to the good voice each time. Here's my universal timeline. Um, it's gonna, it's a work in progress, and all I have on this right now is the, uh, is my very first version that I made like years ago. And my computer just doesn't have the uh, memory to like um, to um, make it better or to put the new one on. And so I'm going to have to borrow somebody's good computer. But uh, this is basically the basic idea 
of how it's going to work. You can move forward in time for the Mediterranean, or you can just compare different parts of the world in the same period of time. So, so anyways, when that's out, it's going to be really cool. That's my main passion in life is my universal timeline right now. So if you all write stories or, or stuff, then you should share your stories. This is a story I wrote, but it's, uh, I wrote it a long time ago. I don't even know. I think it's about a family. Maybe to turn it, it'd be cool to make a, make a, write a, write a story for a movie where it's a, it's a family and all the members of the family that like get together for like a family reunion and they're all like totally extreme, like fundamentalists, like wackos in all the different religions and they refuse and they're like totally arrogant and they refuse to fucking <laughs> like look at the other guy's story and it's basically like them sitting around the dinner table the whole movie just like yelling at each other it'll be fucking funny as hell and then here's the zany love story so it's also a love story i think it's good to be romantic um and write love stories and then battle warriors this is the, the epic battle between Hulk Hogan versus The Rock. I'm not really that much of a wrestling fan, but it's a cool thing to write a story about. Um, inventions, I gotta make a video about that. Oh, fuck. And some, for some reason, the link is fucked to it. God, that's a good page. I'm gonna make a video specifically about that. It's just a page of all the inventions on a timeline. So you can you can analyze the, all the inventions. Um, oh yeah, that's my bike touring page um, of like I guess bike touring journal, and then the gear that I would bring on like a bike touring, and different pictures from bike touring. This thing needs to get cropped down. I don't know why it's so big. But you know that's what you do. That's what I'm gonna do on the treadmill. See what I mean? Like it's multitasking. I can run on the treadmill 20 miles every single day. And I can just be working on my freaking pet website the whole time. And then, so I have a reason to exercise and a reason to, it's like, oh no, I have work to do on the treadmill, but I'm tired. Oh, I have to do it. Because I have work to do on the computer. Oh no, okay. So, you know, the computer motivates you to run and running motivates you to do the computer. And you both bust sacks. What in the hell? I don't even know what this is all about. I guess that was this bike tour that I was planning on doing. These are pictures that I took. Australia not back. So anyways, there's the best way to bike tour. That's the best setup you could possibly have. Not with a sleeping bag up there. I don't know why in the hell I did that. I think it was stoned off my ass. You put the sleep, that's not the sleeping bag, that's a tent. The sleeping bag's inside the backpack. But you put the tent back there. So it's behind your body. Your body breaks it for you. But, um, and then up here you just have like basic stuff. And so you're basically on a race bike. Busting like two, you know, you bust 200 miles every single day. If you're like riding across Siberia and stuff and you're totally aero. And you don't even feel like you're on a touring bike. You feel like you're on a race bike on a ride on the road. And this, this thing, because it's attached to your uh, seat post, I attach it to my frame and I ruin that frame. So now I don't have a road bike. Fucking idiot. You attach it to your seat post. And... Uh, and this thing mount, bends down, so it's got suspension. So it like it, it dampens, it absorbs. So it doesn't throw your bike around. You can like you, you literally can go over bumps, and and it feels like you're not even um, touring. You don't feel have anything on you. And this thing is attached the same way to the handlebar, so it bounces. It, you know, it, it bends down every time you hit a bump. Only problem is this this uh, these racks. No, nobody makes this rack strong enough. That they always break. But I have this metal rack that I got in Athens. That I'm gonna like totally beef up next time I go on a bike tour. Beef up and make it like get these welders to weld it huge, like you know, nuclear bomb proof fucking rack on my seat post. And then, and it'll still be lighter than your average rack, but not just lighter, it'll be even if maybe it won't even be lighter because it'll be so burly, but it'll be more aerodynamic, but it'll be. It'll, it'll handle better. It won't be like, because <laughs> like with a big rack that attaches straight to the, the axle, it's really bad for the axle, but it's also, um, it makes your shit like bounce up and down and like, and throws you around. It's, it's 
dude, this is the best way to bike tour. Maybe I should even click on the picture just to show you what the fuck I'm talking about. Because if you click on the picture, it's all embedded on Flickr. So this, this just takes you to the Flickr page. So that's the that's the ultimate way to bike tour. So what's the Omega way to bike tour, bro? All right, so let's get let's get back. Um, okay. Now um, I made a aromatherapy page, but I guess it's not really all that good, huh? But um. I do have a little description of all the different essential oils on it. Oh my god, but I never freaking got around to fixing the link. Jesus, see that's what happens if you have such a huge website with all these links. Like it's hard to keep track of them and keep them all together. But if I'm running on the treadmill 20 miles a day, I'm going to have the time. I made a time massage. Oh look, the, the link worked on that one. Time massage, just like a job I'd like to have, be a time massage. Oh, and I even gave video, I even have the video sequence of me giving a time massage. That's a dude who invented it. He was friends, he was the Buddha's doctor. Those are all the ley lines. They knew about all the different lines and what they meant. And there's the sequence. But if you wanted to actually see the sequence yourself, you could just click on this and practice it. If you watch the video of me doing it, then you can practice the actual sequence. My friend actually made this from New Zealand, drew this. So you can just just follow along with this. So, um, I should make a video of what I think about time massage later on. Okay, so let's go back. Um, let's see here. Um, uh, links didn't work. So, yeah, then I have links to like your popular pages my YouTube channel, my Twitter page, my MySpace, my Flickr. And there's another one that I forgot to put up here. What, what, what? I can't remember popular website that everybody has a link to that I, whatever. Um, and then, ooh, I think that's that. Oh, and then my kayak trip. I'm going to have to make a video specifically about this, though. But it's this kayak trip that I'm going to do. I need to find a partner, by the way, if anybody wants to do it with me. You have to be badass. There's Tony. He was going to be my partner, but then his wife got pregnant. So he had to back out. But, I mean, doesn't that look like a fun thing to do? Like, kayak out to an island like that? trip uh, salvia divinorum on the island and get all wasted on mushrooms and marijuana and then kayak out into like the blue somewhere and and so like here anyways I think I'm gonna do a special video about this kayak trip dude because I need to find a fucking partner for this motherfucker but um these are all the different islands it's, it's all the route you do all these different well fuck it I'm gonna have to do a video specifically about this because this is a huge site um, okay, so basically that's that. That's my website. And this is how a website should be. You have all, like if you wanted to find anything about me on my website or, or anything, it's only like a couple of clicks from the main website. And that's how it needs to be. Like, like what's your, what's the political, for example. There's one click to get to there, two clicks. And two clicks, you get to my, you get to my idea about homosexuality which isn't much because there's nothing written there but there is a video of me talking about it. I do have another video of me talking about it but it's not on this page so anyways looking at my website will make me make a better website because I because I, I go oh shit that's not there and then I put it there. You see what I'm saying? So um, anyway two clicks two clicks you're never more than a couple clicks away like I have a map of my website up here somewhere. Where in the hell is it? I made a really big map of like everything on my website where you can click any page on my website just on one click because it's on the map, but it's not on this main page. So that's weird. What in the fuck? Anyways, there's one click to get to there and then two clicks to my time on rowing machine, which is which is down here. I'm, I'm like a weakling. I'm like nothing compared to like your college girl. Any one of these college chicks would fucking tear my arms off. I might as well just hand over the money. But I'll get stronger. And as the future comes, here's the exercise I'm going to But anyways, you see what I'm saying? Like it's only like two clicks. Two clicks away. So it's impossible to get lost. 
Okay, so that's a really quick introduction to my website. You know, that was a 35-minute introduction.